Are we sitting comfortably? Good. Let's begin. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Better Minecraft. I've been playing this mod for a little while and I really like it. It's it's really cool. It's really difficult, but it's really cool. So I thought I'd make a little series on it. And uh yeah, I've got some new some new clothes. I've been got a new haircut, which is, you know, it's it's something, <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, let's let's have a little little playthrough and see if we can do this. Okay, so first things first, we've got a quest book. The beginning. Brand new experience awaits, and we get a Minecraft adventure book, and we get an animal dictionary book. Fantastic, that's a good start. So we have quests and stuff here that we can do, and we also have some other quests. So we've got some quests for the deeper dark, one of which being kill the warden. Um, we've got Nether, we've got Ever Bright, Ever Dawn, Twilight Forest, the end, and the last chapter. Now there's there's quite a lot in this game. Welcome to a new Minecraft adventure. This mod pack expands plenty on vanilla concepts and brings hours of content to enjoy. The quests are there to help with the different chapters. Go explore and create. And this is just a dictionary of the animals. There's a roadrunner, a bone serpent, a gazelle, a crocodile, a fly, hummingbird. There's loads. There's loads of different animals, as you can see. So there's lots and lots of stuff. First off, let's bring up a map, see what we're looking like. This is a completely random seed. So the first thing we need to do, really, is try and see if we can find a village um i'll head in this direction so we'll just go to the left a little bit and we'll see if we can find us a village just found out i'm going the wrong way uh so that was quite interesting <laughs> we're actually supposed to be going this way and we started going down so that's a good start isn't it we're not going to punch any trees just yet we are just going to go on a little run we want to avoid the pillager ouch um, in fact we'll grab some of them because blueberries so blueberries are in the game as well as these other animals that you see over there there's there's lots of new food things so this is from as you can see at the top there oh the biome you'll go uh that thing is from exotic birds um so there are lots and lots of different Food types, uh, animal types, mob types, weapons, there's there's lots. So we have a warm monkey bush from atmospheric. There's also a rosewood log. There, there's more trees. There's apple trees you can find as well. Um, what we got there? Some onions. We'll take some onions actually because I actually want to plant some onions. So we'll take some of them. These are from Farmer's Delight, which if, uh, if you watch my Create Mod series, you know that we uh, we we have Farmers Delight mod installed on there. Uh, now, is there a village? What's that? That's a bird's nest. We don't go bird's nest just yet. There's not a village there. Okay, let's keep exploring and see if we can't find us a village. There's a village. We have a village. Oh, also, there's a damson there. Let's have some of that mulberry. That's the one. Let's have a mulberry. Why not? We have a village. I can hear bells. That is a good start. The bed. That's be our spawn. What we got in there? Uh, some food and stuff. Okie dokie. And we have these dudes here. This guy's he's a guard. So he guards the village. Obviously, because he's a guard. He will guard the village at night time when mobs turn up and he will protect the villagers. So as well as having a nine golem to do that, we will have a guard that will do the same thing. Let's grab some of them. We'll grab that as well. We'll grab some of them. And this is what is this? Oh yeah, it's just cleric robes and a librarian's hat. I think they're vanity items, I'm not too sure. Um, I don't think you need to give them to villagers to have the villagers be that profession. So we're just gonna have a little rummage around and see if we can't rustle up some more biddies. Let's have a look at the what else we might have it's so weird like to try and work out where you've come from it's very confusing um okay i think this might be outside the village now it does look like it right let's get punching some trees get us some wood and uh make a start so grab some tools and i'll be back with you just as soon as i've got myself some stone tools okay so first night rested 
Let's sell some uh, some stone tools. We've got an axe. We've got a couple of pickaxes. We've got a sword. We've got some coal, some torches. So yeah, well, let's have a let's have a little looky. So what we want to do first is we want to mark this. So we'll create a waypoint and we'll call this home. Uh, we'll call it home village. So that will stay on there and it will stay on the on the mini map as well. As you can see the H there. So we'll be able to find our way back. OK, <laughs> we have to find our way back reasonably OK ish, hopefully. Now, it looks like we've got a building down here that we can go and explore. Um, hopefully it's not a bad building. Because there are bad buildings. First off, I want to go over there and see what that part of the beach is. Oh, it just looks like it's a beach. That's fine. As you know, if you break grass, you break grass, if you break grass, <laughs> if you break grass, if you break grass, if you break grass, if you break grass, <laughs> this isn't going to do it now, it's going to prove me wrong. So basically, actually, if you break grass, there we go, you get a seed. And more often than not, you will get a wheat seed. However, with this mod, it might take me a while, but I'll find it. You can break these little bits of grass and you won't always get a wheat seed. Sometimes you'll get a different seed. There we go. We've got lettuce seeds and we also got pea seeds. So yeah, this is from, that's it, simple farming. So we've got lettuce seeds, wheat seeds and pea seeds. All right, let's go, uh, we've explored that bit. Let's go, let's go back. Yeah, that's also furnace. Oh, hello. No, oh, dude. How did, why did, what? Okay. I'm a little bit upset that there's a golem in my house. I mean, can I can I vacate you? If I do this, will you leave? I'm going to have to break the glass though. That's gonna be seven years bad luck. Come, dude. There you go. Goodbye. Nice to see you. I see you nice. Thank you. And good night. Dude, that is my bed. It's not night time, why are you in bed? We'll get ourselves some iron smelted. That's enough iron to, uh, is it night time? No, it's not night time. It's enough iron to give us pickaxe, maybe. Get an iron pickaxe. So, I have a quick mining session. Get some more iron. Just so I can get full iron tools and hopefully full iron armour. And I will be back with you shortly. Ooh. No way! Oh, mate, right over the top of an amethyst geode. That's awesome! And it goes into a cave as well, so that's pretty cool. So we get this view. Now, you only get this view on the mini map. You don't get it on the big map. So this just kind of shows like a underground cave of sorts. So there could well be like a dungeon or something through here. Because those look like rooms just there. The problem is, I'm not too sure because we're right on top of it there. So I'm going to assume that it's going to be down. So if we just dig down, we can hopefully find it. Yeah, there we go. It'll be down there somewhere. Let's see if we can plug the hole. We can. It's going to go dark in here though. Right, let's grab us some iron. I do want the copper, but iron's really the priority, he says, as he still continues to mine out the copper. Yes, Ginge, you you are genius. You have one iron pickaxe, and you are using it to mine copper.
Poop, 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 poop. We nearly died. We nearly died. Come here, you. Woo! I didn't panic. Totally 100% didn't panic. I saw him coming as well. I just didn't think he could get up here. And there's another one. Ah, oh, poop. Nope, I'm gonna die. Yep. And presto, I have all my stuff back. Oh, it's a crate. Ooh, iron sword. And pickaxe. And some of that. And some of that. Is that a helmet as well? Yeah. Another iron sword? Yeah. Uh, what else have we got in there? Some iron, because why not? Nice. Let us get our butts out of here before we get killed. I'll see you guys back on the surface. Okay, so we've finished smelting our iron and we, we we got a bit. <laughs> we've got just under two and a half stacks of iron, so you know what that means, didn't you? So there we go. We now are fully kitted out in iron armour. That is not bad for a first day. Oh, these are wheat seeds. We'll put some wheat down, it's fine. And then we'll have some oat seeds next to it because, you know, that's going to confuse us. Um, we'll go broccoli, we'll go lettuce, we'll go pea, and then we'll go carrot, 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 and the rest will be spuds. So there we go. Right, that is food sorted. Okay, so let's make a shield. So. Here are some shields that we can have. We can have an iron shield, which will give us 90% damage reduction. Or we can have a gold shield, which is only 85%. So we'll actually have the iron shield. Now, on my other one, I do have a diamond shield, which is 98% reduction. But then you've got, like, you know, the copperite, the blazerite. This one increases the damage bonus of the next attack of your blazerite melee weapon. By 0 0.2, up to 2%. The copperite is... Or corruptorite. Yeah, but there's... Enderman damage. There's a featherite shield, which is a chance to push all nearby enemies when you block. A golderite shield, which increases damage to piglins. You know, there's various different shields that will do various different things. Um, so yeah, that, I think they're really cool. Uh, so we can now have an iron shield, and I, I do like this. I think this is a pretty cool, pretty cool thing to have. Oops, wrong button. Nope. That's it. There we go. Enderman shield. <laughs> I think I just broke the door. I didn't break the door. We're all good. <laughs> We're all good. I didn't break the door. Righty. Let's have us a quick explore. So that's where we died. So you have your latest death pinged up on there. Obviously, I've been back and got my stuff, so it's not a problem. Um, we'll, we have got some houses down here. So we will take a little walk down there, and we will have a look and see, see what we have down there. Let's make sure we've got plenty of food before we do. Um, so we'll make a few torches and then we will go on and we'll go for a sleep first. We don't explore when it's night time. We'll go in order. Okay. We are fresh as a daisy and we are heading in the right direction. That looks like it's a ruined portal. Um, yep, yeah, if I had to stab a guess, I'd say that is definitely a ruined portal. We'll head down to that and then we will go to see what these houses are over there. Okay, so there is the nether portal. Need some food. What we got in there? Crimson chest. Uh, oh, flint and steel. We'll have some of that. We like a bit of flint and steel. We don't need the flint. The flint can stay there. But we'll have the flint and steel though. And there's probably some. No, there's no gold. Okay. And the tree's on fire as well. So that's going to burn. Awesome. Let's continue. Ooh, big house. I've got a funny feeling about that house. Um. Okay, <laughs> what they were doing. So you find these houses, right? They're dotted around and you think, oh, that's a nice house. We'll have a look at that. And then you find that there's a pillager in that house and he wants to kill you. And this is said house. This is a pillager house. 
Oh, oh no, it's not. Oh, it's a blacksmith's house. <gasps> oh, I wish I'd have found this sooner. Hi, dude. Hi, dude. I wish I'd have found this sooner. This would have been so much better. We'll have some of that. What we've got in the pants? Unbreaking. We'll take that. We'll take the redstone and we'll take the cooked chicken and we'll take the lava bucket because we can dump stuff into that. What we've got there? Glass protection. That come in handy. Ooh, yeah. And a couple of gapples as well. Why not? Nice on that one. Does it show us? It does. What's that one? Aqua Infinity. Nice. Um, we don't need that. Like that's all chain mount. Let's get rid of the stuff we don't need, which is just you. In fact, we'll get rid of uh, blast protection. So we don't need you. We'll have unbreaking and we have Aqua Infinity. We got. We have. We got levels. Fantastic. Let's um. Let's just enchant that for the time being, and we'll stick that on our noggin. We'll put that on our feet. And what we've got on this one, we've got efficiency two and acquisition. Do we combine these two? I don't know what acquisition means. Maybe it's fortune. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll leave the iron ores and stuff there. He can have them. It's all good. Let's go find this other house. I don't think this house is is a friendly house. Um, I th I think this is. Yep. There we go. Hmm. Uh oh, we are probably gonna die. We are definitely gonna die. Let's get out of here. Let's run. Run. Bail out. Run and hide. Run and hide. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. Um, that was a bad idea. We will just, uh. He's got a backpack on by the looks of it as well. Please drop the backpack. Come here, dude. Oh, do that. He just healed himself. Kill that. Don't. You sausage. You stole his food. I wanted that. Yes, you're welcome. You want more? I don't have a bit of bread. Some bread? Have some bread. You want some bread? Have some bread. Apparently we're feeding we're feeding raccoons now. Yeah? You good? No, look, look, they're all coming over now. I don't have enough bread for all of you. Come on. Give it a rest. Right, let's go and find this dude because I think this dude is just a bowman, which means we can do that. There we go. So yeah, you get villagers in in little hunting cottages like this. Um, there's probably a dude inside. And there normally is. No, no. Okay, fantastic. Let's cook some uh, pork chops while we're waiting. Uh, I say while we're waiting, we're not actually waiting for anything while we're here. And let's see what we've got. A couple more gapples, some steak, some more apples. <laughs> we'll have the wheat as well. We are off to a flying start. This is amazing. This is this is just the best. Have some gold nuggets. We'll have some arrows because they're always going to be good. Is that iron? That is iron. Some iron. What's that? A boomerang. Awesome. That's new. I ain't too sure what boomerang. Well, I mean, I know what boomerang is. I know what boomerang does, but I'm not too sure what this one does. Can we stack them? We can't stack them. Okay. We're going to have to test that one out and see what that's all about. We got for a good start. Now, I'm assuming this is going to come back when I throw it, but I mean, I don't have much luck with boomerangs, so I mean, this. Oh, okay. Whee! It didn't come back. Oh, yeah, I don't have much luck in boomerangs. <laughs> but uh, where's... Boomerang? I mean, maybe we don't play with it in, in a wooded area. Maybe we go to, like, a plains and we play with it in the plains, maybe. I have no idea where it's gone. Um... Ooh, what's the boomerang? Oh, there it is. I got boomerang. I got it. That's so cool. What happens if I throw it up in the eye? In the eye? In the sky? Does it come back if I throw it in the sky? Whee! Here it comes. Here it comes. Yay! <laughs> that is going to be my life now. I'm just going to be sitting here playing for Boomerang all day. Every day. Like, there will be nothing else. This series will be me throwing a Boomerang and catching it. In fact, I want to try something. Villager. 
I can't do the raccoons because they attack you. Uh, is that what's that over there? Is that something that's going to attack me or is it something that's not going to attack me? It's a fox. It might work. Let's have a look. Oh, it does. Dude, you can use them as weapons. Oh, that is so cool. Sorry, that, that, I'm just really excited. <laughs> I'm easily pleased, as you can see. Um, making a boomerang. I think it's a weapon. It's not, not a bad idea. Right, should we go exploring over there? We'll go explore the terror. We'll we'll do it. We'll go exploring over there, and then we will we will leave it at that. I'm I'm gonna guess this is a pillager outpost. Yep, looks like it. Maybe it's just uh, maybe it's not. No, no, no there's a pillager captain there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and This definitely looks like some kind of fortress, doesn't it? I'm, I'm definitely saying that this is some kind of fortress. This this looks to me like a fortress. And... Oh yeah, hello. How you doing? Yes. I know. Like, why not? Hi, cows. Don't mind me. I'm just... Ooh. I'm just seeing what else we've got in there. We will come back. We will definitely be coming back because there's some, some good stuff. This is a, a good find. One of many things that you can find on this mod. Hello. Thank you. There we go. Have it. Now that is what you call a good there's another one outside that's, that's what you call a good find all my days all my days um that's 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 good water dragon egg we'll have some of that uh we'll get rid of the pork chops and we'll have the heart the seat that is wow that is good find that is a good find. We are off to a flying start. One death. They probably would have thought, oh man, this guy's no good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, but yeah. Right, let's get back home. And, um, try and stay alive. <laughs> As luck would have it, just on my way home. And what is this we stumble across? This looks to me like it's some kind of a ruin. Hold the phone. What's this? I found one of these yesterday. This is like an underground villager dungeon type thing. Like you think it's bad what you know we, we normally do to villagers. Like these dudes were caged, man. They couldn't get out. I think this is an underground villager dungeon thing. Yeah, it is. This is an underground. I found. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it's classed as, but this is definitely an underground villager dungeon thing. That's what I'm going to call it. An un underground villager dungeon thing. There should be somewhere. There should be some villagers around. Can't seem to find any, but they may be behind uh, these iron bars. No. Nope. Well, this one's in better condition than the last one I saw, because the last one I saw was. Uh, there's nothing back there, is there? No, the last one I saw had was flooded. But it did have some villages in it, um, which was handy. Okay, no villages in this one, but that is uh, another good find. This seed is really good. I'm loving this seed at the moment, I tell you. Again, on the way back, and what should we stumble across? But one of these. 
this is a dungeon entrance and looking at the map i'm going to say this is a zombie dungeon entrance these things are not very nice um they're full of zombies and they're also full of zombie spawners so that main room there has got a zombie spawner right in it and all around the dungeon underneath there are various zombie spawners located around um let's get rid of that block and that block and what we'll do is we'll place that there so that gives me a way of getting up i might need to take these out because yeah so in that middle bit there there is a zombie spawner which is why you can see zombies spawning in so we will have a go at some of these because you know why not get that spawner taken out Boom, there you go, spawner taken out. Let's whack some torches down and hope that the horde does not come after us. And there's one. Can we get. Oh, no, we can't because we didn't put the thing in there. There we go. Heels. Bye, dude. Bye, dude. Bye, dude. Dude, give me a high five in my face. Ooh, we've got vine, v vine, vein mining. I can put on a boomerang. I can put vein mining on a boomerang. The last section four. We'll have that for the apples. And that's us done. Let's let's get back. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you all ever so much for watching, and thank you, Mr. Villager, for intruding whilst I'm trying to say goodbye to people. Thank you. Rude. thank you very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it i'm really loving this mod it is amazing don't forget to click that subscribe button and make sure notifications are turned on so that you can be aware of the next episode that's it from me good night